Yo, 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 what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? It's Terrell Hall of Fame. Be live, TBKC, and all that sweet, beautiful, wonderful shit. Y'all might have a damn dog over here bothering me. Give it a damn. But, um, <laughs> but, um, you know, this video is, you know, the, um, the relevance, and I did a video similar to this before, but the relevance of, uh, you know, physical activity when I do, and um, even more physical activity, and it, it, it's without, you know, like, basically down-talking anybody or whatever, but this is something that should be very, very, like, common sense. Um, it, can your dog run with, without breathing your shoes? Can your dog run? You know, how athletic is your dog? You know, um, what physical tasks can your dog perform? You know, we're going to encourage uh, a good friend of mine, Rico, is helping me set up a lot of things and uh, get in contact with the right people to set up a good tour with the uh, weight pool thing th this year. And it'll be it'll be strictly by weight classes, not breed. But, uh, you know, weight pool is one thing. Eventually, we want to get into lower coursing. Um, we we have already uh, looked into the, We got some brothers who will do it, but, you know, it's going to take a little work with the tug of war, you know, um, hang time, you know, on the spring pole. Different different events, you know what I mean? They even want to do a stamina event, which I think is dangerous. <laughs> but, uh, you know, hey, you know, we, we'll figure it out, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, we, we really want to prom push and promote um, physical activities because, this is longevity. This is health. Only healthy dogs, only well-structured dogs, only, you know, dogs that are put together in the right fashion will perform these physical tasks consistently at a high level. And I use the word consistently because, of course, you'll find a dog that's not the best overall in some category that can still perform, and he's just an anomaly. But, uh, you know, it'll be nice to see some of our show champions actually step off in the realm and show that they can do something else besides just, you know, be stacked and look pretty. And, you know, this is where the things that we talked about before, like the feet and the elbows and all the other uh, physical characteristics that I've been complaining about for years, it comes into big play because, you know, especially an event like a weight pool or lower coursing type of event where, you know, the, the, the dog really has to use the, the feet, uh, the elbows, really the whole leg, you know, the whole body assembly. This is going to be stressful on a dog that already has some issues like the bowed legs, bad feet, um, you know, hip issues or whatever. You know, a, a dog with hip issues just can't do weight pull. You know, the, the stress on the hip joint, eventually the dog is going to be carried out of there and uh, probably put down, you know, if, if, it, if it hurts the hip bad enough. Now, this is something, you know, for people who are just watching this page, this is why these things are important. You know, and even if you're saying, um, hey, I don't ever intend to do that type of stuff with my dog, this is uh, a longevity concern, you know, because that's just like, you know, as a more athletic person, as you go through your life and your aging, you know, your longevity is, is a higher probability. Whereas, you know, it's a saying that you don't see old fat people because, Fat people don't live long, which is sort of harsh, but this is something that that's true with dogs, that you don't see old, you know, overweight, you know, deformed type of dogs living long lives. We've seen this in the community, and even in their young lives, they wouldn't have been able to perform these different things. This is going to put us over the hurdle as far as are we a breed or not. You know, your dog's feet should be tight. Your dog's legs should be straight. You know, um, your dog's hips and shoulders assemblies should be correct to cause the dog no pain. This dog should still be an athlete, even if he's a very thick and big athlete. You know, think linebacker. For those of us who like football, defensive end, a ton of muscle, still athletic, still can move. You know, just I happen to have a ton of muscle, but, uh, but I'm built for this. This is what the American bully should be. We should not have these uh, situations where the dogs are... Uh, handicapped by di different disabilities that they can't move and live a normal life. This is something that we go over more and more. And um, it even goes back to the temperament because in the dog's temperament, it changes. And this is why it changes is because now take this into consideration. We say that these dogs are still supposed to have some kind of drive. It's not supposed to, they're not, not supposed to be totally, you know, 
no drive at all. Well, when you have a dog that's in pain, you know, or that struggles with his physical activity, um, it makes it very, very, very hard for this dog to display the drive that's really, you know, in him that he wants to be. He wants to be a running, you know, hunting, you know what I mean? I'm a machine. I'm going to run around. I'm going to chase me some shit. I'm gonna <laughs> he can't do that because he's in pain. Now this, you know, this deals with the animal's mental stability. And what I mean by that is, is that it's just like a racehorse that's always meant to, to race. You know, it's a it's an old saying out there with racehorses that, you know what I mean, if you trap them, you know, and I don't know the saying, but basically what, what it is, I don't know the saying, saying for, for, verbatim, but you know, basically, once they're not allowed to run, they start to die, you know, and it's the same thing with a dog that's supposed to have drive. If you just trap them and they're not doing anything, you know, they are built to do this. You know, they're supposed to be built to do this. Immediately, they, they start to die off. They're not English bulldogs to where, you know, especially the more modern English bulldog is just a couch potato, you know, and this is his life and his life is not going to be super long in most cases, but He's not, you know, these dogs are not meant to be couch potatoes. These dogs are meant to get out and run, whether you're playing with a Frisbee, whether you're playing a fetch. They need to move. They need to have exercise. They need to get out there and stimulate their brains for the activities that they want to do. Spring poles are good. A lot of a lot of the people who've gotten dogs from me, they love spring poles. They want spring poles. So with that being said, you know what I mean? Um, it's, so, it's something that, uh, that works. But these dogs need to get out and work. They need to get out and do things that are physical. You have to remember the origins, the true origins of these dogs are supposed to be staffy pit bulls. So these are two active dogs. These are two dogs that are meant to do things. We don't want them to do the things that they were originally meant to do, but uh, they're meant to do things. They have drive. This, this whole make them fat, sit them in a cage thing, this is contributing to them uh, dying early. Sometimes it's not solely genetics, it's the treatment that we give them. I know a lot of people who don't like their dogs. I hear this all the time. I don't like my dog to get out and run so much because he runs the weight off of him. Well, this is what your dog does. You might have to up his calories. Excuse me, and, and see if that works. But if it doesn't work, that's just who your dog is, man. You know, to trap your dog in a cage and just stuff him with food all day so he'll be big at the bully shows is not good. You know, either you have the genetics to have it or you don't. So, um, I know this one was more of like a rambling on session here. But the one thing I'm telling y'all is that, you know, we are going to promote a lot of healthy activities, a lot of physical activities. Some of them will just be fun, but these dogs need to be getting out. These dogs need to be moving. If you're buying one, plan. I love it when people got a dog from me. I see pictures of them at the park. I see the dogs out running and living a good life, getting some daily exercise. Uh, it's sad, but you'd be surprised how many bullies never see the face of the earth. They, they end up in a cage somewhere, and they spend years in the cage until they go to the dog show, then they go back home. And these dogs never really have, uh, never really have good exercise, you know. And you can see it in their posture. A lot of them just don't have the real good strength to even stack for long times because, you know, they're not being properly exercised. You know, they're basically just fat dogs who, uh, you know, who sit around all day. And it shows in the ring. You see those dogs, they won't stand for long and they keep flopping down. They, they, they really, you know, it sounds funny when you think about it, but they don't even have the true muscle strength or muscle memory to stand in the ring for 10 minutes. Their whole reaction is, I want to go sit back down because that's all I've ever done. You know, to where you have a, 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 a conditioned dog, you'll notice that they're sort of itchy in the ring. You know, they they, they, they moving around, they're sort of twitchy, looking, 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 looking. But they've got energy, they've got bounce, they're standing up. They don't even want to sit down, you know. And that's what you, that's the type of dog you want. You know, that's your healthy beast. That's your true American bully. And uh, I hope we do more of that and less of the other because the other is truly killing us. Until next time, y'all, much love. God bless. Peace.